Okay, this video is for uh, G. Bluer or Slayer 007 and Dr. Stifler. And um, what I have here is an exciter. This happens to be uh, the Slayer exciter with a couple of Dr. Stifler towers. And uh, it's gaining voltage on the capacitor while it's running. And I find this uh, very, very interesting. And uh, uh, Slayer has seen this. Dr. Stifler has a running thing of it, too. And I'm seeing it. And I don't know what's going on. I know right here in my particular house, I've got an awful lot of 60-cycle background noise that I believe that's how I'm getting my effect. I have this hooked up to a piece of aluminum on the ground and a bunch of these coils running through this uh, Slayer exciter circuit. But I've still got an LED that lights up. And I don't even know if the camera's going to pick this up or not. But uh, I've got an LED that's lighting up while this capacitor is gaining voltage and while it's running. And I've never seen that before. And uh, sometimes this seems to work and sometimes it doesn't. It could be the humidity, the temperature, the amount of RF floating around, the 60 cycle background noise. I don't know, but that is going up, and that is running, and I have a, an LED that's lighting up. And I don't know what you want to call that, but I call that unusual. <laughs> and I, like I say, I, I don't know what to say, guys, but uh, um, I've got something happening here, and this thing is running about... Uh, one to two megahertz on the big spike, which is very, very low compared to what Dr. Stifler is running at, which is much higher. But they're multiple frequencies, and uh, it's compounding frequencies. And I don't know what to say. I, I'm sure there's a very logical explanation for why this happens, but uh, it's happening, and it doesn't seem to happen indefinitely where I am. It seems to go for a few hours, then stop. And I don't, like I say, I don't know why that would be that way. Now, I've got a super capacitor here. It's a 10 farad 2.5 volt super cap that has uh, approximately half a volt on it. That's 552.5 millivolts. That's millivolts right there. And uh, that's the uh, waveform. And like I say, I don't know. Uh, somebody probably got a real simple explanation for this. Uh, my explanation for this probably is just background noise. I'm picking up enough background noise to make the oscillator work. <clears throat> anyway, that's my theory. I, I can't think of anything else that would cause this. But if I tweak this pot up, crank it up, I've got it turned down so it's just barely running. This is going to go down. I can make this go down, and I can make that waveform go crazy here. See that thing go crazy? Now there goes the voltage on the cap going down. So I know the thing is running and I know it's a situation where uh, I can adjust it. I can adjust it so it goes back up or I can adjust it so it goes down. And so like I say, I, I don't know what to say. Um, I've got an oscillator running here that is running and at the same time it's charging up a capacitor that's running it. So anyway, any comments on this uh, I would uh, I would appreciate. Uh, pro, con, if you guys want to get into a big heated discussion, I don't care. But uh, I'm open to anything at this point. This is uh, a spatial energy cohesion exciter circuit. And if you want to study this, go to Dr. Stifler's stiflerscientific.com site, and he explains his theory on this. And then, uh, like I say, this is a combination of the Stifler um, tower arrangement, and then I'm using the G. Bluer circuit, and that's over at his YouTube channel, G. Bluer. Thanks for watching. Any comments are welcome at this point.